Good morning. We're going to talk about the structure of silicates. Silicates are built around a central silicon atom surrounded in closest packing by four oxygens. One, two, three, and then on top like that, number four. So this is an oxygen two minus like that. And the center cation is silicon, which is small, four plus. This is the anion cation signs as they are. We can also arrange it such that we have a ball and stick model. There's the silicon surrounded by one, two, three, four oxygens like that. That forms a tetrahedron like this. The back side would be back there. And uh, the final way is to simplify the schematics of this tetrahedron into a triangle where we're looking down at the top view. It looks like something like this. And there's the apex of the tetrahedron. And now we have oxygens at each one of these. And then in the center, we have the silicon. Okay, so the basic stoichiometry of the silica tetrahedron is SiO4. And if you add up the charges, this would be a 4 minus. Silicate minerals, which are the most common ones on Earth, more than 95% of those common minerals that include the mantle and the crust, are built around the silica tetrahedron and the simplest ones are isolated so that the tetrahedra do not share any oxygens with any other tetrahedron and that would look like this this is the isolated silica tetrahedron no shared oxygens and those always have the the basic stoichiometry one silica to four oxygens like that and these are called nesosilicates or orthosilicates. And they include many of the most common minerals, uh, garnet, aluminosilicates like andalusite, and olivine. Olivine is the most common mineral in the upper mantle and is written as Mg. Fe2SiO4. And note the SiO4 stoichiometry is written out explicitly in the formula, like that. Okay? So the next group of minerals are where we share one oxygen between two adjacent silica tetrahedra, like this. Okay? Here is one silica tetrahedra. Here's a second silica tetrahedra. And you can see they share one oxygen. And these are called sorosilicates or disilicates. In the basic stoichiometry, we can see it like this. Here's the oxygen in the center, it's another, I'm sorry, silicon center, silica in the center. And the stoichiometry would be two silica share uh, coordinated with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven oxygens. So that stoichiometry is Si2O7. And the, not too many members of the sorosilicate group, but they include the important epidote group. And that is an interesting set of minerals. They include both the disilicate structures and isolated silica tetrahedra. For example, zoazite or clinozoazite has the formula as follows, Ca2Al3 Si2O7, that's the disilicate group, SiO4OOH, like that. 